subscribe I would love for you to join the family you can press that little red button at the bottom and if you'd like this video that would really help out my channel so for today's video I wanted to do my bookshelf tour of 2020 I've never done a bookshelf tour they always seem like they're so much energy and sometimes my body just doesn't have that but I decided to use my wand ow <laughs> I decided to use my wand to point out the books and I'm just going to say the name of the book, the author, have I read it or have I not read it, if I liked it or didn't like it. So let's get into this video. Please be kind to me. This is my first time doing this. Okay, first up we have Still, Still Me and After You, book two and three of the Me Before You series by Jojo Moyes. I read After You, but I didn't like it and I haven't read Still Me. Then I have The Perfectionist by Sarah Shepard. I have not read that. Then I have The Hate You Give by Andy Thomas. I have read it, it was amazing. Then we have Sweep by Kate Tierman. And we have Dark Magic Awakening Spellbound. This is a three book, this is a three book bind up. Then we have Alex and Eliza. I have read it, but I, started to read it, but I actually didn't like it. Next we have Atlantia by Allie Condi. I have read it and it was an interesting read. I have D Deep Blue and Rogue Way, which is book one and two of the Underwater Saga. And I actually read book one and I didn't like it. Then we have Beautiful Dark by Davies and I haven't read it. We have Sight by Juliet Madison. I read that and loved it. Supernaturally. By White and Unearthly by Hand, and I haven't read those. Next we have Linger by Maggie Stavater. Also have Shiver and Forever. I have read Shiver and I liked it. Next we have Beautiful Creatures. We have Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption. This is the Caster Chronicles. I have read books one and two and I love them. I can't wait to continue the series. Next we have To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han, and we have P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever by Laura Jean. And I have read books one and two, and I love that series. Still need to read book three. Next we have The Returning and The Calling by Rochelle Decker. I have not read those. Next we have Deep Girl by Holly Smalley. I read that and I liked it. Program by Young, which I have not read. Then we have Sarah Shepard Long for the Ride. I have not read it. This Lullaby, I have read The Truth About Forever, haven't read it that summer, I have read it Keeping the Moon, I have read it Dreamland, I have read that was my favorite Sarah Nesson book, and Someone Like You, have not read yet. And I do have some Funko Pops scattered in between. Alright, for the next shelf we have Matched, Crossed, and Reached. This is by Ali Condi, one of my favorite dystopian series. Then we have Night World, number one, two, and three by L.J. Smith. I love that author. I've not read these yet, but I'm planning to. Then we have Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. We have Pretty Little Liars, Flawless, Perfect, Unbelievable, Pretty Little, Little Secrets, Wicked, Heartless, Killer, Wanted, Twisted, Burned, Stunning, Burned, and Deadly. I have read all the way up to book nine and the novella. I love that series. Next we have Dark Visions by L.J. Smith. Next we have Dark Visions by L.J. Smith. Have not read it yet. Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer, which I have read. Secret Circle, book one and two by L.J. Smith, which I have not read yet, but I want to. Then starting over here, we have Hunger Games, book Hunger Games, Mocking, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mocking Jay. So this is the Hunger Games series. I love it. One of my favorite dystopians also. Hunger Games is by Suzanne Collins. Then we have Fallen Kingdoms by Rose. We have Rebel Spring and Gathering Darkness. I have not read that yet. Then we have Faded by Alison Noel. Evermore by Alison Noel. Blue Moon by Alison Noel. And Shadowland by Alison Noel. That is a The Immortal series. And I loved book one. Can't wait to continue. Then we have Evernith by Brody Ashton. Then we have Divergent by Veronica Roth, Allegiant, and Insurgent. Next we have Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophia Kinsella. 
Lost Voices by Jane Porter, Glitter by April and Pike, Everything Everything by Nicole, Nic Nicole, Everything Everything by Nicola Yon. I love her. I loved both of her books I read, and I loved that book especially. Grace Not Perfection by Emily Lee. This is a fun Christian self-help book. Then I have Radiance and Shimmer by Allison Noel. I have read that both Radiance and Shimmer. Then we have Maze Runner and Death Cure and Scorch Trials over on my desk. I have read Maze Runner. I loved it. Scorch Trials didn't like it as much and have not read Death Cure. Then we have another Emily Lee book, which is When Less Becomes More by Emily Lee. Then we have Gossip Girl. I have Gossip Girl, All I Want is Everything, Nobody Does It Better, You Know Me, You Love Me, Because I'm Worth It, You're the One I Want, and these are all by Cecilie von Zinzar. Zivlesier. I have not read, I only read book one. Next we have more Emily Lee books. We have A Simplified Life and A Standard of Grace Perfection. Then we have A Redreaming Love by, Francis, by Francine. I think I started this book, but I never finished it. It's a Christian historical fiction. Wherever the River Runs, Captivating, Hope Heals, and None Like Him. Those are all Christian books. Then we have Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophia Kinsella. That was my, this is my little mass paperback version. I might get rid of it. Then we have The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks, A Walk to Remember, the last song, Dear John and the Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks. Last on the side, we have Me Before You, which is book one in the series of that was up there. Then we have A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline LeEngle. Trinkets by Christian Smith. I have read Wrinkle in Time. Princess Spy by Millie Dickerson. The Duff and Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I have not read those. Next, we have my Harry Potter shelves. We have Harry Potter in hardback one through seven, and then I have two Harry Potter Illustrated, Harry Potter Illustrated editions up here, and my Harry Potter Funko Pops. I have read all the Harry Potter books. Okay, next we have the Lunar Chronicles. We have Fairest by Marissa Meyer, Cinder, Scarlet, Stars Above, Crest, and Winter. I have only read Cinder, but I loved it. Then we have the Princess Diaries, Princess in the Spotlight, Princess Diaries, Princess in Love, Princess on the Brink, Princess in Train, Princess Mia, Party Princess, and Princess in Pink. And I have read, I think, up to book four in Princess Diaries. Then we have a Shadowfall novels series, and we have Born at Midnight, Taking at Dusk, Awake at Dawn, Chosen at Nightfall, Whispers of Moonrise, and that's by Cece Hunter, and I have not read these. But I really want to. Then we have the Folk Air Trilogy in hardback. We have The Cool Prince, Wicked King, and Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I have not read those yet. Next we have Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Shatter Me, Unite Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, and Find Me. I have read all of these and I still need to read Imagine Me. And then I'll be done with the series. Then we have Devoted in Elixir by Hilary Duff. I have not read those. Then we have Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott. And I have read that. I loved it. It was super good. Our Year of Maybe by, by Solomon. I have not read that. Then we have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. I have read all of the Twilight books, including The Short Life of Brie Tanner. And I love it, it's amazing. Then we have the Mortal Instruments, which are the Shadow Hunters. We have, and this is by Cassandra Clare. We have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. I loved this series, it was amazing. Then we have the Descendants books. We have Isle of the Lost, Return to the Isle of the Lost, Rise of the Isle of the Lost, Escape from the Isle of the Lost, and this is by Melissa De La Cruz. I have read books one, two, and three, and I really enjoyed them. Then we have the Vampire Academy books, one through six, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, Last Sacrifice, and this is by Michelle Mead. I have read book one, and I liked it. Next we have the Love series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. We have Beginnings, Opposition, and Consequences. I have not read that, but I really, really want to. 
Then we have The Short Life of Brie Tanner and Blue Bloods, Masquerade, and Relevations by Melissa De La Cruz. Next we have my Ravenclaw notebook here. Then we have Swoon by Malkin. We have Maleficent by Elizabeth Ruddick. We have Sinking and Drifting by Sarah Armstrong Garner. I have not read those Sinking and Drifting yet. Crow's Nest and Merlin Stronghold by A.R. Jackson. I have not read those either. Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. By Andrea Kramer. I have read that one. I really enjoyed it. We have The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. I loved this book. We have Throne of Glass and Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. I have not read those. I have The Dangerous Hour by Marcia Muller. I have not read it once again. have not read. And then we have Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead again. Bloodlines, Golden Lily, Fiery Heart, Silver Shadows. I have read that whole series and I loved it. And then we have Land of Stories by, by Chris Colfer and this is the guy from Glee and I want to read this. It's a middle grade. Then we have Vampire Diaries, The Phantom, The the Fury, The Return, and then Stefan's Diaries, and those are by LJ Smith. So that was my bookshelf tour. I had so much fun pointing out all the books and seeing which ones I've read and haven't read. This was a really fun video to create, and hopefully I can make one each year. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!